unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory, past, present, and future. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our graduates.
Graduates, thank you for all you've done for Charlottetown Merle during your time here. I want to recognize two staff members who are retiring at the end of this school year. Mrs. Donna Gill has been an integral part of Charlottetown Merle for the past 35 years. As a biology teacher, she has instilled a love of science and a passion for learning in approximately 6,500 students over her career. She has been a leader in our science department, a mentor to beginning teachers, and a friend to all she meets. She has worked tirelessly to help students reach her high standards and encourage them to challenge themselves further by participating in Science Fair, Shad Valley, and BioGenius Challenge. Mrs. Gill has been an invaluable member of our school community, and she will be missed. Mrs. Nancy Conley has had a varied teaching career, teaching French in schools in Nova Scotia and in PEI. For the past 10 years, it's been our privilege to have Mrs. Conley on staff here at the Rural. She has taught all three grades, our provincial curriculum, and been involved in our international baccalaureate program as well. Mrs. Conley held high standards for her students and herself. And together, they worked hard to learn the French language and to learn to use the French language. We wish both ladies all the best in their retirement. Finley Barrett. Dakota Bell. Dakota is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award.
Jane is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Rain is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award.
Carson is presented a prize for achievement in English 671. Liam is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Tyler Nippert. Tyler is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Jimmy is receiving a CRHS Student Recognition Award. I would now call on Brandon McKinnon to deliver the valedictorian message to the graduates. teachers, family, friends, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. We made it. 
I am so excited to say that we are the graduating class of Charlottetown Royal High School 2021. We made it through lockdowns, a new way of learning, and the realization that we may not want to admit that we all wanted to be at school at one point this year. Even though this year was filled with so much unpredictability, this is something that I would never want to change. It made our last year as a Raider a more memorable one, and one that history will remember as well. I don't want to spend this whole speech talking about the pandemic though. I'm sure we have all seen enough news coverage and had to write enough self-reflections to last us another semester. So let's just end with this statement. COVID-19 sucks. But our time at the world certainly did not. This year was filled with wins, losses, triumphs, and failures. These words sound like polar opposites, but in my eyes, they lead to one final destination of our own personal success. Today, when I look out at our graduating class, I see a destination of success for every single one of us. When I started to write this speech, I googled how to start a valedictorian speech because I really had no clue where to start. The one thing that Honor Society at Work said was, and I quote, whatever you do, do not talk about Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. But anyways, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines success as the following, an accomplishment of an aim or purpose. What I think we fail to sometimes remember is, the accomplishment, aim, or purpose the definition talks about is not set by our society, friends, or family, but us and no one else. We choose what we want our success to be, and when we let others choose the success for us, we truly lose track of what we want in our lives. When I look at all of us, I see future medical professionals, leaders, adventurers, entrepreneurs, engineers, climate change activists, advocates for injustice, global citizens, and people who truly care how our actions affect others, the planet, and of course, our society. This year has all taught us a valuable lesson that stability is never guaranteed. School has given us comfort and steadiness, but life is full of bumps, bruises, and hard decisions. And now, it's time for us to make these hard decisions for ourselves. But before we head out to take on the world ourselves, we need to say thank you, of course. Thank you to the administrators, Mr. McIsaac, who hopefully enters a poker league in his spare time, because he truly has the best poker face that I have ever seen in the past three years. But just as much, he has always been caring and welcoming to all of us. Ms. Bryden, the brains behind SAS, who made sure we would qualify to be here today. Mr. Wynn, our in-house drill sergeant, who always wanted the best for us. And of course, Ms. Redu, the best in a Fitbit, so we can track her GPS location and she can track her steps. Thank you to the teachers who dedicated their lives to always bettering others. And don't forget to thank that special teacher who made a lasting impact on your life. Make sure to take the opportunity to thank that teacher before you leave today. Thank you to the support staff who kept our school clean, organized, and of course, especially this year, sanitized. Thank you to our parents and guardians for being there from the very beginning. They walked us in the kindergarten holding our hands. And now they are here walk to the high school, maybe not holding our hands this time. And finally, my fellow graduates, thank you for truly being on this journey with me. We somehow have made it here without even finishing grade 11, which I believe is an accomplishment in itself. But we have a lifetime of smiles, laughter, and memories. And it is truly an honor to be graduating here with you today. I would like to end today with a cahoot. Sorry, I meant quote. There are two primary choices in life, to accept conditions as they exist, or to accept the responsibility for changing them. Dr. Dennis Waitley, let us be the ones who make that change. I've truly been honored to be a valedictorian this year. Congratulations to Charlottetown Royal High School, graduating class of 2021. Leave your handprints on the world, because your legacy is something that will outlive you and never will be forgotten. Thank you.
selecting you to speak this morning. Well done. I would ask the graduates to please rise. The tassel on your graduation order represents the goals while at school. At this time, you may move the tassel from the right side of your order to the left, symbolizing the achievements of your goal. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the Charlottetown Borough Class of 2021. Please remember to leave your gowns at the bin before you leave for the day. Thank you.